Hello and welcome to another episode of Quirka Space, Space Hulk Ascension, Dark Angels Edition. Uh, just a few things to go through first. Primarily, I have a new computer, so that's great. However, that has resulted in me losing my Space Hulk save file, which was a little bit careless of me. Uh, what happened was that in the process of setting up the computer, I had to do a reinstall of Windows, yada yada yada, and I assumed, incorrectly, that Space Hulk could make all of its save files in the uh, documents folder, like a lot of games do, or that it would be backed up on Steam Cloud, which it isn't, just as a point to anybody here else who might be in this situation. Uh, and so when I copied over all the files from there, Space Hulk was not amongst them. In fact, Space Hulk keeps its save files in the user app data roaming folder, which makes very little sense, but never mind. What's done is done. So I've had to play through quickly to get up to the same point as we were in the last video, Psychic Dawn. The squads are a little bit different, but not noticeably so. There's no major differences yet. Um, I'll go through anything as we level up our characters here. So we just completed Psychic Dawn, which was to get the artifact. Now, my apothecary in this one is actually not that bad. Very so, I know. He's reached the second level. I'm going to give him the cellular destabilizer. Uh, yeah, he's... I was lucky enough to get a high ballistic skill from the outset. And he's actually proven reasonably competent. Which is bizarre, considering how little respect I had for him in the other playthrough. Keep this guy with his Storm Bolter. Okay, our apothecary, uh, apothecary, our librarian, is using a Force Axe because I was fortunate enough to get a Relic Force Axe, a bonus to it. Which gives me plus 20% to hit. So he's absolutely awesome. And um, we're going to increase his toughness here. Got his three psychic powers as before. Two skills now, so we can focus. There we go. I think that's everything we need to do with this guy. Yes. Bestius doesn't need anything from there. Attributes. Let's bring his ballistic skill up to four. Equipment, motion detector, and the proximity mine. And this chap, Arkan. I'm going to keep his points so he can boost up another of his skills later. There we go. Okay, all good. Then, um, my flamer here, Malachi, he could actually use the assault cannon, but it's still bugged. Now, I've done a little bit more reading, and apparently these two aren't bugged. You can actually use these two. But, <laughs> if you notice, it says that they're plasma cannons. So we're gonna have to have a look and see what happens there. Right, so on to our next mission. We can do either overload or overwhelm. Now overwhelm is the harder, so we're gonna do that one. Get both squads. See what this is all about. The data recovered from the CAT units has identified the primary control cogitator for the Xenos reactor. It is currently inactive, but the tech marines theorize that a controlled overload of three key power supplies spread throughout the alien vessel will supply enough energy to restart the cogitator and allow the reactor to be detonated. The second power supply has been identified in a quiet sector of the Space Hulk. There are Xenos life signs there, but they are few. You should be able to storm the region overwhelm the enemy, and overload the power supply terminal before the gene sealers can mount a significant counterattack. Be the lion's wrath. Sergeant of the squad. Yeah, Except since when is a space hole quiet? Now the other thing to note is that um, this game still runs terribly, <laughs> even on my new computer. Um, which is a little disappointing. At the moment, I'm getting about 120 frames a second at this precise moment in time, which is fantastic, 
But as I deploy my squads, this will drop down to a rather disappointing and a rather paltry 20 or so, if I'm lucky. I'm not quite sure why the game does this. I'm assuming it has something to do with the detail of the Terminators. There we go. Yeah, I'm now getting oh, around 18 to 23 frames a second, which is pretty abysmal. Now, you notice I put my apothecary in the middle, and that's just to... Um, so that he can affect his entire squad there. Yeah, up. There we go. Um, we didn't get a good look at the map. Have a quick. Looks like we've got a nice broad corridor here, so we can go up this way. Go around. Looks like it might go around here. Yeah, maybe up into there. That's our primary objective, and then exit there. Looks like a plan. If we had a tarantula turret, we could just dump one over there, couldn't we? Keep that all locked down. I'm absolutely loving this game. Uh, I think this is one of my better purchases on Steam, it has to be said. There are some games that are pretty terrible and there are some Warhammer games that are pretty terrible. Kill Team, I'm kind of looking at you. But this, this has been a worthwhile investment. Objective locked. It's just a shame that we're unlikely to see um, a third one. Really? Or a second ascension, whichever way you want to look at it. Because of the fate of Full Control Studios. There we have it. Maybe if they Moving get things ahead. done, or if people buy the game more, we'll see another one. But at the moment we're still waiting on a patch to fix various issues. Doesn't look like it's going to come. Okay, first Xeno sightings. Hmm. See then, how far can we get before we have to start slowing down in a sec? Don't want to rush too quickly through these places. Um, sure, as I said before, you can sort of run the beginning bit, but all about controlled risk management, this game. Which is awesome. Um, it's a very good, very well balanced game. It'd be very difficult to begin with though. You know, if you're playing this and you're finding that you're getting beaten a lot, don't take it to heart. It has quite a steep learning curve. They are close. Okay. We've got down here. And this. What is this? It's Scything Talons. Drive them back. Okay. Into Overwatch. Overwatch. I like having all of them coming at him. Hmm. Moving out. You can get to there. There. Then turn. I'll leave you with. So you can go on to Overwatch. Wow, look at that cluster of spawn points. Order confirmed. Holding. Clear a path. You guys facing back, just in case. Watching for enemy contact. You guys can move up here. Haste. Okay. Should be safe enough there. Oh. As for here. Let's just go ourselves some breathing room, put a force barrier there. There we go. <clears throat> okay. Second squad. Time to move them up. Moving ahead. Getting into a slow down point now. 
Got a big old line of gene stealers there. Pretty good run of it there. We're going to use our force barrier again to block off this corridor. And then we're going to use the respite to reload and move an extra square and they'll cool down naturally. That, I can't quite catch up, that's a shame. Move a little bit slower with our front two next turn. You are part of this squad, so maybe I should split the squads. What do we think? Split the squads? Make no sense, wouldn't it? Divert the aliens' attention. Mm. No, I'm going to keep them together for now. the risk of caught out with this squad because I haven't used, as with the previous playthrough I haven't really used the second squad so they're not terribly tough they approach once okay we can have one of those days, are we? Fine, we're going to use a bit of overkill. Okay. Move forward one more. Objective locked. Go on, play watch. Okay, getting out into the first broad corridor. I'm going to move down and block this spawn point. Swine is on rear guard duty. Order confirmed. Holding. Not that we have many gene sealers running around at the moment. Which kind of makes me a little bit nervous, I have to say. One point. I'm going to shut this area down. You got a prox? Yes, he does. He's got a proximity mine, so if you can go down and seal this. Is there any gene sealers? So it is quiet, isn't it? I wonder what the heck's going to happen when we activate that generator, though. Objective log. I'm guessing all hell is going to break loose. Another gene sealer coming up from behind. Of course, what's going to have to clear a path? It is ballistic skill. It's not good, guys. Securing position. It is probably the wrong guy to leave on rear guard duty. Play like he won't be there long. Contacts. My oh. My is jammed. Yeah, that's about right. Drive them back. Okay, let me just go take. Uh, a turn. Right. Just to reorient ourselves and got ourselves for any movement. into a decent um, order for getting through this. Sorry about that, there's an alarm on my phone going. If you heard that, if you didn't, just ignore me. Clear a path. Block this one. Okay. Turn him around. Affirmative. 
start forming up the second squad. These guys will form the rear guard. Able here's Overwatch. One gene sealer coming down there. He's gonna peg it. Catch back up with the rest of the squads, unless that's a flesh hook gene sealer. Exciting talents. Okay. That could have been bad if that had been a flesh hook gene sealer. Securing area. Exposing his back to god knows what. But we're okay. Enter a door they're coming through. That's it. You get these guys from here. Not quite. Wait another turn for them to sort themselves out. Start our slow amble up the road here. You can see that oh, he's coming down a Corridor. That's it. My aim is true. I'm gonna make sure there weren't any vents there. I do so hate vents. Scanning for enemy movement. Scanning for enemy movement. All the way up there. Yeah. These guys. Are going to be in the middle. Ah, how come you have so little? Ah, because I didn't finish moving you last time. Let's say, how come you got so little AP? Didn't finish moving him. We're going to leave our flamer dude here. Okay. He's going to sort out those gene sealers coming down from up here. is still ridiculously quiet. A lot of spawn points right there, haven't we? Good lord. They will fall. Could do is move up and flame in there, but no. Do not like fall. it's too quiet guys. Why is it so quiet? It's supposed to be a hard mission. Which I'm guessing means that it's going to go crazy in a minute. All I can assume, but at present it's really, really quiet. What is going on with all the gene sealers? Yes, brother. Got enough spawn points. Clear a path. Clear apart. I assume means I'm going to be inundated with foul, angry, roaring monsters. Figure out what's going on here. There's the corridor. Okay. Maybe we put a squad in there to hold it or hold the intersections. Figure that out in a minute. With all due haste. Securing position. Yes, Commander. It's so quiet, guys. Watching for enemy contact. I... You not like one little bit. It's eerily creepily oh, quiet. Protocol initiated. Moving out.
Pretty is creepily quiet. Weapon malfunction. Okay, to Melly. No, he can't. That's a relation. So, what do we do here? Weapon functional. Pull down and take a shot. Yeah. Okay. Scanning for enemy movement. Moving. Order confirmed. Holding. These guys on Overwatch here. Overwatch. With all due haste. Initiating attack protocol. This is... Strangely quiet. It really is. Indeed, we're going to move quite slowly past this point, though. To keep our chaps and chapesses, our oh, chaps, I suppose, because they're all male. Moving. Um, we are contact. into the flank here. Overwatch. Otherwise. They will fall. Nasty shock. Overwatch there now. Nothing else coming from the south. I think I should have probably split the squads. Would have been faster. Well, so, we're getting to the tricky part now where we have to actually round the corner. Get around this corner. Securing position. Clear a path. Securing position. So he's going to cover this way, he's covering this way. Okay with that. Yes, brother. Moving. Overwatch. Order confirmed. Holding. That's where it starts to get a little bit dicey. We've only got two shots now down this way. The jeans see they're coming from the Move. south there. Uh, haven't we? By the looks of it. Yeah, a couple more there. Moving out. Flank secured. Use the flamer to get rid of them. They shouldn't be able to reach us in one turn. They won't reach us in one turn, so we can use the flamer to deal with them if they become an issue. Zenos contact spotted. Initiating the attack protocol. Weapon Yeah, do indeed, because this is getting a little bit strange. We've been anywhere near enough in sealers here. Holding position. Yeah, am I really complaining? Probably not. It's nice not to have to worry about if my guys are going to have their faces chewed off. Taking I'm sure they appreciate the break. I'm sure most of us would, wouldn't we?
Wide fire. Wide fire or perhaps a focus fire might be better. Yeah, pretty much a match, isn't it? Either way gets the job done. Bit of a wasteful orientation there. He's a little bit exposed, but I don't think he'll be in any danger. The area is all pretty much blocked off now. Right. Enemy sighted. In that corridor out. Yes, Commander. Gonna march up and block this one. Let them come. Overwatch, so where these units here is going to come from? Bad dead ends there? Looks like it. So, we might want to block that corridor off in a minute. So we don't get any nasty Xenos coming after us. You still got your... No, you don't have your charge anymore. Okay. So, probably have to block it off with him. Fine. A flamer guy. One. Two more gene stealers here. One there. I think we can block that with flame. We have to organize ourselves. A little bit of overwatch yeah, cover come. here. Advance, brothers. Order confirmed. Hold and hope for the best, I suppose. Do that. That would stop him from getting. Yeah, that can contain him for a turn, can't it? That bit odd gene sealer. Or any more that come up that way. He's safe enough there now. But only having a ballistic skill of two, this guy is actually pretty good. Let them come. Overwatch. Let's see if we can't. Oh, nearly. Yeah, I wonder if a wide shot would do it then. Get that one with a wide shot, can't we? He's going to go and drop off his mine. Don't have to worry about that spawn point anymore. Turn him around. This is where it starts to get a bit icy again, isn't it? These corridors. They will fall. I think we're going to take this space with the second squad, the primary squad will head on and slay some righteous gene sealers. Or righteously slay gene sealers? I don't know. Two, three, four. But I can't reach them in one turn. But that's not what's important. What we want to do is kill them here to stop them getting too close, because if I kill them here, the flame would block my path forward. One of the side effects of that amazing ability. Form up. Let's 
squad's going to tromp up into here and hold our exit. Weapon at the ready. Hard bit to get through. Any more shots for this thing, huh? Reach that guy this time. Cleanse. There we go, keep that clear. Still got plenty of flame of fuel left with that. Watching for enemy contact. Get the movement grid then for some reason. Guys up and into position. We'll do for now. Here. Okay. Yeah. Trust that this guy can get rid of these chaps, yep. What we're dealing with here. Can we? Lights on the situation? No. Position. <clears throat> Is that a corridor down there? This looks like it. Very odd map. We do have a room here, so we can hold up in here. Yes, Commander. There's a defensive cordon with any luck. Eyes on a gene stealer. Let's go scout to flank. Keep them off our tail for a minute while we set up our defense. Now. A long turn. Keep saying it, always manually turn your terminators. Okay. Now we're going to hold up. Yep, yeah, with these guys. They will fall. I don't even know if we need the rest of them. I'm gonna keep them stationed nearby Scanning just in for case. Enemy movement. Scanning for enemy movement. Who are you? Need to reload. Hold this room and then we can expel with um, these guys. Enemy sighted. Initiating attack protocol. Three Lord in here. Wow, that's a dark room. Okay, so we're going to swing this guy around, put him into overwatch facing this way. Chap. Chap, they're all going to be facing backwards as well. Let them come. Should have a pretty good view down there. You are going to look this way. Overwatch as well. The enemy okay. will fall before me. 
So, we should be pretty well covered there now. I'm going to be facing back as well. These chaps can't see them. Got insular down the end there. That's fine. We can long shot him. Reach all the way down into there as well. Cleanse the monstrosity. I'm going to move these guys a little bit, give him more opportunities to kill, give brother Hephaestus more opportunities to kill that guy. And I've got a bad feeling about this, guys. I really do. I don't know why. I think we're suddenly going to be inundated with thousands of gene stealers. These guys aren't firing, even though. Oh, he's. <sighs> set him on Overwatch. That was silly of me. The machine spirits died. Ah, okay. My aim is true. He redeemed himself. Quite nicely there. Really, you can see a guy all the way down there. Time to get out of here. Just Reload and cool down his weapon. Really? Is this all this map has to throw at us? It seems really too easy, has to be said. So far, I mean, it, it was a possibility that it's suddenly going to ramp up the difficulty, but this was rated as hard? We get the rating system sometimes on this game. Ah, oh, look, more gene sealers, but you're just going to run into a flamer, guys. Is that really what you wanted? Hmm, run into a flamer. Load. Step up. Okay. Advance, brothers. Flamer out of there. And our librarian can move quite far as well. There we go. Okay, got guys coming up behind us. That's okay. Let's move you to here. Let's move you to here first. Just enough to turn around and go on Overwatch. Holding. The enemy will fall before me. Moving go down a little bit. That's okay because we have Psyka who can just go Force Barrier. And if I put it there, nobody can get through. Donk. Nice and secure, right? That means that this squad can turn around and get out of here. Come ah. on. Okay, this mission ended up being um, significantly easier than I thought it was going to be. Yes, it has to be said. 
Going into Overwatch. Affirmative. Famous Affirmative. last words, perhaps, but somehow I doubt it. All I have to do is force barrier there again. And we need to meditate, I think. Get some points back. Nine. Back up to 17. That was good meditation. We can just let them bottleneck up there and then hellfire the heck out of them. survived, did he? Yes, he did. Mmm, okay. That's no biggie. Not a problem. Weapon at the ready. Clear a path. There we go. See, told you that wasn't a problem. This mission has been disturbingly easy. And kind of disappointingly so. Never mind. Targets. They are close, brothers. Parting gift, shall we? Let's see if we can catch them with a the wide arc, the wide flame. Ah, we can one or one. Well, let's do that. Stops any more coming through. Flamer and the librarian. Really now. Force barriers up in the way. Stop them from catching us. Yes, Commander. But it's far more tempting to do that. Just get more kills. No, well, this mission has been long, but really easy. Don't get it, guys. Don't get it. That was too easy. 31 turns. Total of 79 kills, that's not bad. Yeah, Lagos just absolutely demolishing anything that got in his way. Didn't level though, curiously. Let's have a look. Oh, we have to do overload anyway. Oh, that's okay then. The next time we'll pop down and do that. Let's level our guys up. So our flamer now has access to the assault cannon, but of course not using it because bugs and such. I do want to use it. Uh, with any luck, I'll show you guys next time. Oh, we have to do by attributes. Yes, we can increase his ballistic skill. Equipment. He's actually pretty good, so I'll. Right. What is this? Let's just go for now. Okay. That's pretty cool. 
Necron and my chain fist, because chain fists are awesome. Completely impractical, but awesome. Yeesh. What's going on here, dude? There we go. That should make you a little bit better. Malachi. Well, like He's the last level of the flame, eh? It only has four. Hmm. I wonder if that will actually affect. I think I have to read up on that, whether that one will affect um, Rude Lords and such. Nothing else to use. Okay. Lucius, yeah. Really improve its toughness a little bit, shouldn't we? Okay. Well, there we go. I think that's as good a place to end it as any. A long episode. Sorry for that. I was hoping that it would be um, a little more exciting, that mission, but it turned out to be quite tedious, really. <laughs> so next time we're going to come back and we're going to do Overload. And we're going to try and fight our way through that one. Until then, thank you for dropping by again. Hope you enjoyed the videos. Um, Present at the time of recording, I've got a lot of problems with regards to uploading content to YouTube because China is being a pain in the neck at the moment with the internet. Um, so my content output might drop a little bit, but um, we'll try and I'll try and get around it if I can. Uh, even my VPN is having difficulties at the moment, so we'll see. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe all that fun stuff, and I shall see you all again next time. Bye-bye for now.